Hi, my name is Veronica Alanis, and I'm a pediatric and adolescent gynecologist at Children's Hospital Colorado. Genital examination of the prepubertal girl can be challenging. In the office setting, examination should be limited to external inspection only. Visualization of the vestibule can be enhanced by labial traction. Speculum exams should not be performed in pediatric patients. Vaginoscopy is a diagnostic procedure to evaluate the inside of the vagina. An endoscope, typically a cystoscope, is inserted past the hymen using saline to gently distend the vagina. This is usually performed in girls who are too young for or cannot tolerate a speculum exam. Indications for vaginoscopy include unexplained prepubertal vaginal bleeding, vaginal discharge, concern for foreign body, vaginal pain, vaginal mass, evaluation of reconstructive surgery, or evaluation of anatomy. Vaginoscopy is typically performed in the operating room with anesthesia. In select cases, vaginoscopy can be performed in cooperative patients in the clinic after application of a topical anesthetic to the hymen. During vaginoscopy, the provider will examine all of the vaginal walls and the cervix. If a foreign body is identified, it is removed with irrigation or endoscopic graspers. Toilet paper is the most commonly identified foreign body in prepubertal girls. If indicated, the provider may also take swabs of the vagina to evaluate for infection. There is minimal risk with vaginoscopy and great care is made not to injure any of the genital tissues. Patients recover quickly and are discharged home from the post-anesthesia recovery unit after their procedure. Hysteroscopy is a diagnostic and or operative procedure. During the procedure, a hysteroscope is inserted through the cervix into the uterine cavity, typically using normal saline to distend the cavity and visualize the endocervical canal, endometrial cavity, and tubal ostea. In adolescence, hysteroscopy may be indicated to evaluate and manage endocervical or endometrial lesions, uterine septa, retained intrauterine contraceptives, or other foreign bodies. At Children's Hospital Colorado, hysteroscopy is performed in the operating room under general anesthesia. Hysteroscopic metroplasty or hysteroscopic septum resection can be considered for management of uterine septa. A septate uterus is the most common Mullerian anomaly. A partial uterine septum extends into the cavity but does not reach the internal cervical os, while a complete uterine septum extends from the fundus to the level of the cervix or cervices. In some cases, the septum extends into a longitudinal vaginal septum, dividing the vagina in half. Septal tissue can be fibrous or muscular. Diagnosis can be made with pelvic ultrasound, but should be confirmed with a pelvic MRI, which is the gold standard for evaluation of malarian anomalies. A septate uterus is associated with adverse pregnancy outcomes, including increased risk of miscarriage, preterm delivery, intrauterine growth restriction, breech presentation, C-section, and placental abruption. Hysteroscopic septum resection is typically performed in patients with a history of miscarriage, however may be considered prior to pregnancy in an effort to optimize the uterine cavity. During hysteroscopic metroplasty, the surgeon will insert an operative hysteroscope through the cervix into the uterine cavity. The septum is then incised with electrocautery to the level of the tubal ostea. Depending on the extent of the septum, concurrent laparoscopy may be utilized to visualize the uterus and help decrease the risk of perforation. Preoperatively, the surgeon will likely recommend hormonal medication to prep or thin the endometrium. Progesterone-only pills, birth control pills, the birth control patch, the ring, or Depo-Provera can be used. Formation of intrauterine adhesions is rare. There is no clear evidence to support use of an intrauterine balloon or exogenous estrogen postoperatively. However, these measures may be considered. Risks with diagnostic and operative hysteroscopy include uterine cramping, bleeding, infection, uterine perforation with damage to nearby structures, fluid overload, and incomplete surgery requiring a second procedure. Patients recover quickly and are discharged home from the post-recovery anesthesia unit on the same day of their procedure. When indicated, both vaginoscopy and hysteroscopy can be performed by a pediatric and adolescent gynecologist at Children's Hospital Colorado. If you have questions about these procedures or would like to refer a patient, please visit our website.